welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lisa and today's video, as you guys can see from the title, I'm going to be doing a huge H&M home haul. You might not know this already, but I actually do a couple of apartment things on top of fashion, beauty, etc. videos. So if you haven't already, please check out my empty apartment tour, which I renovated fully myself and also my furnished apartment tour. And I decided to do this video today because number one, I'm going to be redoing my entire parents place or at least hopefully because my time here is obviously limited in Vancouver. I'm actually living full-time in Toronto so I'm gonna try to do as much as possible for my parents place. Also I am supposed to get the help of my brother who said he was supposed to be back a few days ago but I still don't see him. I mean do you? I, I, I don't see him. I kind of have to wait for him to get back because there are a couple things that are over at my house where you know I just can't carry I'm a small five foot one girl and I'm not gonna be lifting a fridge you know what I'm saying anyway hopefully I get to do my parents place soon but the one thing that I have started is I have started planning everything so all the stuff that I don't need my brother for another thing that I've been doing is I've already started home decor shopping just because I'm gonna redo my room as well and also I'm just starting to home shop because one of my very favorite stores to home shop is actually H&M. They have amazing, amazing home stuff. And by the way, this video is not sponsored. I genuinely spend all my money at H&M Home. I feel like I've spent like probably over a thousand dollars or maybe even two thousand dollars collectively for my own apartment and also for now my parents' place. The thing about H&M and why I like really ordering from their stuff is a couple of reasons. Number one, if you join their loyalty program, you get a lot of discounts account which everyone should join their loyalty program because it's free to join and you get free shipping and free return actually I think shipping you still need to meet like a minimum but you get free returns which is so sick especially when you're returning home stuff that are huge it is definitely really worth it to get the free return and on top of that you also collect points up until now like I said since I've already purchased so much from them I've collected so many points that I've earned a lot of $5 off coupons they also have a lot of sales going on so it's just like really nice to join their loyalty program. It's also easier for myself at least to track what I've already ordered. So for example, all the things that I'm gonna be going through with you today, I'm just gonna easily show you the links because everything I have in my receipt and my online account. So I'll just like copy and paste all the links. Just a disclaimer, the one issue about H&M Home though is that their items sell out quick and I feel like it's also because other people really enjoy their stuff. So that's why even though I haven't like planned a lot of the other things for my parents a lot of the things I wanted I just quickly purchased anyway just because I know that the chances are some of it is gonna sell out a lot of the links that I'm going to leave today just a disclaimer it might not even be in stock anymore because unfortunately that's just how quickly they sell out but I do still want to make this video hopefully this turnaround for this video is ASAP so you guys can also get your hands on this stuff so without further ado I'm just gonna get started with the haul How this haul is gonna work is I'm just gonna go with the biggest items first and then I'll go along with the smallest items. If you guys have watched my previous apartment tour and my furnished tour, then you guys will know that my theme for my apartment is pink, gold, and white naturally. These are just my favorite colors. But with my parents' place, because obviously it is not just females living and their favorite colors are not pink, gold, and white. The theme that I've selected for their home is gonna be more earthy, black, accents and stuff and some gold accents so you're gonna notice that theme throughout the decoration because that's gonna be the theme that we're gonna be going with so a lot of the items here are in those color ranges the first item I'm gonna show you is this vase right here this is so cute I just really like these like faces I have one also in my own apartment but this one's really cute and my mom also has a lot of plants this one honestly looks good either on its own and you can just 
stand it on top of a shelf or in a shelf, like whatever it is, or obviously you can just use it as a planter. So I got this because I'm gonna see how I can decorate it in their home. I know that one way or another, I'm gonna be using this either just like on top of a shelf or like whatever. This one's really practical, so I don't need to have everything planned out to know that I need to use this. The second item is going to be this vase, and this one is quite uh, scandalous. I got this because this has been a really big trend on Instagram. My mom has already seen this, and she hasn't really given me much of a reaction. If she likes it, I think I'll put it in one of the communal areas, but if she doesn't like it, then I'm gonna keep it in my own room and use it as my own room decor. This has been like a very popular Instagram home trend. So this is actually quite large, like it is the size of my face. Just a little bit scandalous, but it's still, you know, art. The next item is kind of the same, you know, another woman with boobs. I feel like this is really fitting because I don't have boobs. So I'm just like, might as well look at other people, even non-humans with boobs, like inspo, anyway. So with this item, same thing, because my parents have quite a big space, they have their dining room, their own bedroom, their living room. I'm just not worried with all the decor pieces that I'm buying that I'm gonna use it one way or another, or I can throw it in my room again. So like, I really don't care, but I most likely want to use this in the living room because I think that the black wood accent is gonna look really, really nice with what I have in mind for their living room. The next item that I got is also something I want to put in the living room and this time it is also a face with the same rectangular bottom. With this item, I am actually going to show you a picture, but I actually saw it off of H&M Homes catalog and it looked so good. And that vibe is kind of the vibe that I'm trying to give my parents. That's kind of how I want to style their living room anyway. This is actually my favorite piece out of everything I've gotten today. This one is really, really nice. The last kind of big thing is this watering can. First of all, I have gotten a gold watering can for my own place but I really like this one a lot better because this one is just a tad bit smaller whereas mine is really really big which I still like okay guys I know this is mostly for decor I'm gonna put it on top of a shelf and it's gonna be like a black accent against their white walls and stuff it's gonna look great I promise you because I already have this myself but in gold but I do want to also say as a actual watering can planter thing whatever this is called. It is actually so good for watering plants. Not like I have a lot at home, but the one plant that I tried keeping alive, which spoiler, it is not alive anymore. But the one plant that I did try to keep alive, I used this watering can, the similar one, but bigger. And it was so easy to be a gardener with this thing. You know what? Function and aesthetic. Very much appreciate this item. And I'm going to be keeping this for sure and giving it to my parents. So that's another item. Okay. I kind lied the next kind of big item ish is this black tray here so this one i kind of see this as going on their coffee table so i'm just imagining you know some books i want to do a little plant with flowers and it's going to go on top of their new coffee table that i have yet to buy the color scheme that i'm sort of thinking right now for their coffee table is going to either be a little bit light beige so this is going to be a really nice accent piece i also want to create this little shelf entrance space for my mom's bedroom or my mom and dad but this is gonna be mostly for my mom. I actually ordered two by accident, but now I'm actually wondering if I should keep it because I can have one in the living room as a tray. And since my parents have a really big bedroom, I'm gonna build them this really small reading nook. I actually think I will probably have a little coffee table side thing there as well. And I'm gonna see if I can put this there as well. Maybe it was a good thing that I accidentally ordered two. So then the next item is actually gold. As a disclaimer, this item, I actually got it half for myself and half for my mom and dad. The reason why I say half for myself is because I'm here pretty long term, I guess for maybe like another month or so. I have my jewelry that I've brought over, which obviously I just need a space to put it in right now. So I'm just gonna use this for now temporarily to put my own jewelry. And then I think when I leave, I'll probably just give it to my mom for whatever she wants it for. But I think it's a very nice decor piece for on top of your vanity or a nightstand or something like that so I have that going and then going off of the other trees this 
gold tray and this might look familiar to you. If it looks familiar to you, it is because I have it at my own entrance in my apartment. So if you have seen the furnished apartment tour, then you would have seen this right at the entrance. And let me tell you guys, out of every single freaking tray I have ever purchased in my life, this is by far my favorite, favorite tray. There is no comparison. So the reason why I really like this tray is because everything is pretty centered and there's just so many places and uses that you could use this tray for. So as you guys saw from my furnished apartment tour, I used this at the entrance to put some of my jewelry, to put some keys. It was just such a great entrance piece. So I'm either gonna do that or you can even put your jewelry and once again, use it as the same thing on top of your nightstand. It is honestly so, so, so practical that I definitely needed to order it for my parents as well. The next tray that I have ordered is this black one right here. So once again, if this looks familiar, it is familiar because I have this one in gold in my apartment and what I used it for before I was using it also to put things like my keys and whatever. But then I realized that this one was better for that because mine is gold and it was really, really metallic. I started using it for my kitchen to put my dish soap and my hand soap and it is honestly the perfect piece for that. So with this one, what I envision it is in their bathroom because the color scheme of my bathroom in their house is marble with matte black accents everywhere, their faucet. If you don't know what the bathroom looks like, check out my everyday makeup tutorial. It is a few videos over. It is the Vogue theme one. That's what the bathroom looks like and you'll be able to see the theme. I'm just gonna put this on the sink area and I'm just gonna have my daily skincare and I have a few Aesop products that I think actually would aesthetically look so amazing with my skincare on this little tray. And once again, once I leave, I'm gonna leave everything for my parents. They'll still be able to make the most out of all of these things that I'm getting. So the last thing that I got, I actually got this item in two colors. I got this item in the gold, but I also got it in the matte black. Unfortunately, the matte black one broke in transit. Like this area, it came off and I was debating if I should just super glue it back together. But some of the other paint was coming off on the side as well. So I was just like, okay, probably not because I don't wanna pay full price for something that has been broken. So I ended up returning it, unfortunately. I got this because I feel like this is also another really nice jewelry holder and stuff. I got this right now for me slash my mom later. I just feel like it's so unfortunate because I really, really wanted the matte black so that she could have it for the bathroom that I'm using, which later becomes a guest bathroom. I just feel like it's just such a nice little thing where you can leave whatever. I had the black one in mind for the guest bathroom, but unfortunately now we just have the gold. If I had to pick a color, I would have picked the black, but today I was on the phone with their customer service and the black one is not even being sold anymore. So it honestly is so annoying that it was sold out. But another reason, by the way, for ordering H&M stuff home online is that you don't have to carry it home. Imagine me, little old me, shopping at Metro Town and trying to lug all of this back. I will literally break a bunch of stuff myself, either in transit or I would just probably drop dead from carrying all this. I really highly recommend joining their loyalty program and ordering their stuff online because you don't have to move and it's just like who wants to move you know what I mean? But anyway, that is pretty much everything I ordered from H&M Home. I am really sorry if this video is becoming really, really long, but I hope you guys enjoy this video and I hope you guys enjoyed my very first home decor haul. Let me know in the comment section down below if you want me to do some more and make sure you subscribe to my channel and also turn on the post notifications. If you guys like this video, the next time I do another home haul, I will definitely share it on YouTube. And yeah, so that's once again, pretty much the video for today and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.